Hello, let's do some spag now. Um, so what we're going to talk about is going to be a thing called plural and singular, or singular and plural. They're, they're quite posh words, aren't they? Singular and plural. I'll write them down so you can see what they look like. Singular and plural is plural. So we've got singular, oh, I don't need that. We've got singular and we've got plural. Singular means when there's only one of something. It's single, it's on its own. All right, so singular is just one of something. Plural means more than one. That's that's all you need to know. So single, just one. Plural, more than one. Now, when we start writing using singular words or plural words, there's so many rules we have to remember. It takes ages to learn them. Gosh, so I'll start introducing you to some of the rules that you have to remember when you're writing using singular words or plural words. It's quite simple, actually. I'm only teasing when I went. So, normally, we just add an S if there's more than one. So um, I just need to keep on looking at my list here to make sure I'm teaching you the right thing. Um, so normally, if we just see one dog, we would say, oh, look, there's a dog. But if we see more than one dog, we would say, oh, look, there are some dogs. So can you see I've just added S? Normally, you would just add S. Similarly, if I said, oh, look, there is a cat, then it'd just be one cat. But if I said, oh, look, there are more than one cat, that mean there are some cats. So we're just adding S, aren't we? All right, so dog becomes dogs, cat becomes cats, uh, house. Oh, look, there is one house. <gasps> oh, there are more than, there is more than one house which means there are some houses. So I've just added S. All right, this is just regular. You just add an S, just normally. All right, and then um, oh, I've got a toy on the floor. Oh my goodness, look at all of my toys on the floor. So can you see each time we've just, hang on, let's get my red pen. We've just added S each time. Can you see that? All right, so that's the regular way of changing from a singular word to a plural word. One dog, lots of dogs. One cat, lots of cats. One house, lots of houses. One toy, lots of toys. Easy peasy. So now I'm going to introduce you to a rule. Okay, so I'm just going to clean my board. If you want to take note of that, you can. I've got a task, obviously, for you at the end. You don't have to copy this down as long as you know that adding S is the regular rule of doing it. Just going to clean my board. Right, so here comes our first rule then of plurals or singular and plurals. Singular and plurals, easy for me to say. At the top here, inside my cloud, you can see I've got some word endings. So, if a word ends with S, if a word ends with SH, SH, if a word ends with CH, CH, if a word ends with X, or if a word ends with Z, then you have to add ES, okay? So this time we're going to be adding ES because the words are going to end with these up here. All right, let's do a couple of examples. So if I see one bus. Look, can you see it's ended with s? So here it is. Look, we have to add es, which means there are lots of buses. Sometimes people think it's a double s in there. It's not a double s. It looks like it says buses to me, but that's how the pl the sing the plural of bus is. Next word, wish. I have got one wish. But can you see it ends with sh here, which is up here in our list. So we have to add es. I've got lots of wishes. All right. Next word, bench. I like to sit on a bench. But look, it ends with ch, which is one of our sounds up here in our cloud. So we have to add es. Well, I like to sit on lots of benches. Uh, another one, 
I have got a box. Look, it ends it ends with a x here, which is up in our cloud, so we have to add es. Well, I have got lots of boxes. And finally, let's look for a word that ends with Z. There aren't many nouns that end with Z, especially nice nouns that I can use in <laughs> doing a spag lesson. <laughs> so I used fizz. Wow, did you see that fizz? I saw lots of fizzes. Ends with Z, so we add ES. All right, so bus becomes buses, wish wishes, bench, benches, box, boxes, fizz, fizzes, all right? All because they end with these sounds up here, so you have to add ES, all right? Okay, now, what I'm going to do is clear my board again, and I'm going to give you some words now to go and have a go at changing from singular into plural. Some of them you'll just have to add S to, some of them you'll have to add EST. It's up to you to work out which ones they are, okay? Okay, so the first word I want you to go and have a look at changing from singular into plural is going to be the word hat. I have got one hat. Well, I have got lots of... You need to write that in there. The next word is pen. I have got a pen. Ooh, I have got lots of you have to write that word in there. I am going to wear just one dress. Well, I am going to wear lots of... What does it end in? Can you see? Is that one of our sounds up here? It is. Ooh. If it's one of these sounds in the cloud, you have to add ES, remember. Uh, I'm going to wash the dish. I'd rather you washed all of the... Look what it ends in. It's one of our sounds up here. You have to add ES. I like to visit a beach. I like to visit lots of... Oh, look, there is a fox. Wow, actually, there are loads of... And finally, one of those tricky nouns that end with Z. I would like to dance a waltz. A waltz is a kind of dance. That's how desperate I was for a noun ending with Z. Well, uh, I am going to dance lots of... Right, so remember, you're going to look and you're going to change from singular into plural. Are you going to just add an S or are you going to add ES. Is it one of these ones up here? It's pretty confusing when you start doing it, but as you go through, you'll just remember these rules. As you read more, you'll just remember these rules. Okay, so I want you to write these words. Do me the arrow and then write me the plural next to it. Okay, go and have a go at doing that. See if you got it. See you in a bit for some handwriting.